Yeah, boy, it's the Red Robot Show featuring the Red Robot and Lindbot 2000 broadcasting to you directly from Space Station 7. And now, here's the host of your show, the Red Robot. Greetings. We have a great show for you tonight. Joining me once again, my very good friend, Jason Barry. Thanks a lot. It's great to be here again. It's been a while since I've been here. I think it's been, what, maybe two years, something like that, since I've been here, since I've seen you? Yeah, it looks like it's been about two years since you've seen a barber, too, hippie. <laughs> Wise guy, right? Hey. You have a new album out. Yeah, that's right. I'm here to promote uh, my new album, uh, Nub Dug Ensemble, Volume 2. Blame is the title of that. Remind our viewers, what is the Nub Dug Ensemble? Okay, just a brief recap for everyone who uh, doesn't know. Uh, Vacuum Tree Head ended in December of 2019. Right about, I think, the last time I was here. I think I was here early 2020. We maybe briefly touched on that, uh, but that came to an end. And so Nub Dug Ensemble is my personal uh, new means of expression, my new band name, my new brand name, uh, as I like to say. Uh, so this is actually our second album. The first album came out just about a year ago. You didn't make it up here last year to promote that one. No, I didn't make it up here. There was a lot going on down there on Earth, if you know what I mean. It just kind of made interstellar travel a little more challenging. But, you know, this time, hey, we're here and let's talk about it. Here's the cover of your new CD. Please tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's just a new collection of music. You know, uh, I like to, each time I'm doing something, I like to kind of go in a little different direction, a little challenging, a little, you know, put yourself into, try to do something different. You know, you don't want to keep doing the same album over and over again. You know, some people made lifetime careers out of doing that. I mean, that's not what I want to do. Uh, but, you know, it's just, I decided to, I'm working with like the funkiest drummer in the world, you know what I mean? No disrespect to any drummer we worked with before, but you know, the legendary G. Calvin Weston playing drums uh, on my stuff right now. So I wanted to move in some funkier directions. I kind of got that on a few tracks on this one, got kind of a bluesy thing going. Uh, you know, just kind of tried, tried some different stuff. Tell us who plays on this album. It's quite an impressive list. Yeah, in addition to myself, there's Steve Adams, once again, on saxophone. Steve Adams, you all know him from Rova and so forth, Steve right? Adams. That's right, Steve Adams fans out there. Uh, Miles Boyson, once again on guitars, the incredible Miles Boyson. There's myself, um, Amanda Chaudhry. She will be joining us in a little bit. Indeed she will. She'll be here in a little bit talking about her own album, but you know, she's playing keyboards, synthesizers, electronics, that kind of stuff on my thing. The amazing Chris Grady on trumpet this time, someone I had not worked with before, and man, this guy knocked my socks right off. I mean, talk about virtuosity, man. I mean, this guy, I'm telling you, unreal. Uh, joining us for the first time on this one, uh, Jill Rogers doing the vocals, a very different vocalist from uh, anything we've done before. She gave this uh, new material her own unique flavor. I heard uh, some recordings that she and Miles had done and it just knocked me out and said, let's try this, let's try this, let's see how this goes. And man, super happy with the results. And that rhythm section. Yeah, and then once again, a Brett Warren on bass, monster bass. Uh, what did one reviewer said, uh, uh, what is it, gargantuan funk bass, one of these reviewers said. I mean, just incredible bassist, man. Just deep in the pocket, just the sounds, the grooves, all right there. And once again, you know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? The Duke of the drums, you know what I mean? The fucking, you know, the regent of rhythm, himself the prince of percussion, G. Calvin Weston. I mean, just what can be said? I mean, the guy's just amazing. All stars. Yeah, definitely all star band. I'm super happy with it. We, like I said, we touched on some different things and, uh, you know, it seems to be connecting with people out there. Uh, it's, you can check it out. It's on most 
of the streaming services, let's put it that way. You know, there's one or two that, all right, you know, enough of that nonsense, it's not on there. But you know, that's neither here nor there for now. You know what I'm saying? So you can find it streaming, you can find it at Bandcamp. And here's this, uh, the name right here, or the title, the address, however you want to say it, nubdugensemble.bandcamp.com. Check it out. You really do want to pick up the CD, you know, because there's additional art and there's all the information about the musicians. And, you know, you don't get that kind of, you know, that, that's the thing I don't like about streaming services and whatever. I mean, it's convenient. You can pull up anything you want, but you don't know who plays on it. And that's such an essential part of who, who does what on it, where it was recorded. I mean, that's a big part of it. To me, at least, I don't know, call me crazy. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Tell us the title once again. Yeah, once again, uh, Nub Dog Ensemble, volume two, Blame, out now. You should check it out. Okay, we're going to a break for a word from our sponsor. When we return, Amanda Chaudhry will be joining us. Yeah, looking forward to that. We'll see that in a little bit, all right. Stick around. Pie. It's time for pie. It's pie time again. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for pie. And we're back. Joining us now, Amanda Chaudhry. Welcome to the show. It's great to finally have you up here. Thank you. It's really great to be here. We've been trying to get you up here for quite some time. Oh, I'm so glad we were finally able to make it work out with our schedules and, you know, the intergalactic trade routes and everything. You have a new album out. That's right. I do have a new album out. It's called Meow Meow Band. Meow Meow Band? I didn't know we were going to be talking about pussy. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, okay, that's enough. Settle down, you. Let's look at the album cover here. Amanda, please continue. Yeah, it is a collection of a lot of different compositions I've been working on. Uh, some electronics, some jazz and funk fusion, all sorts of things for people to enjoy here. You are working with many of the same musicians who appear on the Nub Dug Ensemble album, isn't that correct? Yeah, that's right, that's correct. Uh, a lot of the same musicians as appear on the Nub Dug Ensemble. We have G. Calvin Weston, Steve Adams on there. And some fresh new faces as well. Well, that's right. We have some uh, different folks as well. Uh, we have the great Jamaluddin Takuma on bass. Uh, of course, he and Calvin Weston have worked together for years and years. Wonderful player. I love his playing. Who played that amazing bass clarinet solo on Under the Ceiling Fan? Well, I'm glad you asked that. That was Sheldon Brown, a great uh, multi-woodwind player, a great clarinetist, saxophonist, and I was really happy to be able to get him for this bass clarinet part. I think it really made that piece. I really love those catchy vocal numbers. Who sang those? Oh, that was Amy X. Newberg who sang those. Uh, she's, of course, appeared on Nub Dug Ensemble and on Vacuum Tree Head, and she and I have worked together on a few things before. So I was really happy to be able to get her to sing those two tunes on this album, White Wine and North Berkeley Bart. North Berkeley Bart is a favorite of mine. You know how I love songs about public transportation. Ha ha, ha ha, ha ha. <laughs> really at the heart, it's just a fun little tune. It's a jingle. Um, we get to do a lot of different solos around it. Get to just play around, have a lot of fun. Now, while we're on the subject of voice parts, I'd like to mention Serena Toxicat. Unfortunately, she left us in 2020, but we had worked together on this one piece using her voice and her words in 2019. I was able to put that together to create the invocation track that opens the album, and I'd like to think she'd be proud of the final result. I see you also worked with Miles Boyson on this album. Is that correct? That's right. Miles Boyson did a lot of the engineering on this. 
Uh, he played guitar on several of the tracks, really an invaluable part of the whole process. Are you working on any new music? When can we expect to hear Meow Meow Band Volume 2? <laughs> well, there will be new music, and, you know, it probably will be uh, Meow Meow Band Volume 2. But, you know, we'll have to see how the project unfolds and what it sounds like as all the new music comes together. Where can we find this music? Do you have a Bandcamp page? Uh, yes, I do. I do have amandachadri.bandcamp.com. You also have a YouTube page for your videos, don't you? That is correct. I do have a video page that is CatSynthTV at YouTube, so you can say youtube.com slash CatSynthTV, or you can probably Google that phrase and find it right away that way. Wonderful. We really appreciate you coming by today. The lovely Amanda Chaudhry, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thanks so much. It's been really great to be on the show. It's good to see you, too. Oh, my God! <laughs> okay, that's all we have time for tonight. Thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time, on behalf of Linbot 2000, myself, and the whole crew up here at Space Station 7, good night and see you soon. Yeah, boy, it's the Red Robot Show, featuring the Red Robot and Linbot 2000. Brought to you by Pi. <laughs>